Hi everybody and welcome to the pixeldatabase.net picture of the day episode number 12. In this video I'm going to be using this cool fire hydrant image here by Karen. I love the perspective of the way this is shot. I already have this image saved so I'm going to go over to my website which is pixeldatabase.net. It's real simple to load a file. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I have a few queries saved to make this video go a little faster so I'll just start with the first one and I'll explain it as we go. The first one is the blue-green channels are going to get lowered by 130. I only want to adjust the pixels where the blue-red difference is less than negative 80. So if you look at all of this image, blue minus red is going to be to negative 100 for most of it. Some of the shadow is not quite that much, but in the shadow you won't be able to. We'll see. Let's go ahead and I'm going to just run this and show you. So that's kind of red. You can't really tell that's still a little orange there probably, but it's kind of dark to me. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go on and get the second query. And the second one here. This is just going to make the red a little bit less bright, just in case it's a little bit not as sunny a day or just a little later in the evening. Do the same thing. The blue red difference is less than 80, and the blue less than 80. The blue difference now is going to be even more extreme than it was. That query will still apply. The only thing I changed here is now I'm just doing the red, but I'm not doing the red as low as, as the previous query. A little bit darker. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is do this one. And all I'm going to do here is it's a little bright when I converted it to red. This and this look a little bit brighter than they did on the original. So I am going to do this query. It's going to lower the blue and green. I don't have a way to draw a rectangle with your mouse yet. That's on my learning how to do list. But basically I'm doing the X between this range. I'm sorry, the Y between here and here. And I only want the green red greater than 380. So if you look right in here, the green plus red is going to be pretty bright. Maybe above 400. So that ought to take care of it. So that kind of just filled that in or made it a little bit less glary. And now I'm going to do one more for this up here at the top. I had to do it in two queries because if I didn't, I kind of messed up the sky. So I'll go ahead and run this. And this is basically doing the same thing, but except a little bit more extreme. That's kind of bright right there. And here I'm giving it an X between roughly here and there. And then I want to maybe a little further. The Y between somewhere in there. Let's see what that is. Yeah, it's about close. And then right in there. So I'm just lowering it down. And also the same thing, only for the green red that have a really high value. So that was my really short video on how to do some color adjustments with pixeldatabase.net. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. Thanks for watching, and thank Karen for this cool fire hydrant image.